Today marks World Autism Awareness Day. The CDC reports one in 88 children has autism. Go to Facebook and like World Autism Awareness Day. I did it on my page. For more, go to autismspeaks.org. Coming. What letter is that? A. What's that? Three-year-old Colton is working on his letters. If you could describe Colton in one word, what would it be? Happy. Yeah, happy. He was also diagnosed with autism eight months ago. First came the emotional shock, then the financial. It's approximately $1,000 out of pocket a month. Between everything, between all of the therapies. And even though 29 states require insurance to cover autism treatment, families still bear a large burden. We still have co-pays. Um, right now I've been fighting with insurance since like August to get him occupational therapy. We want to give him everything, every, every, every fighting chance, chance that we can give him. He's going to be something special. We just yeah. know it. Autism's cost to society, from treatment to lost productivity, can be staggering. $137 billion a year in the U.S., according to research funded by Autism Speaks. Lifetime costs for someone severely affected can reach $2.3 million. Do you think about what it's going to be like having Colton at age 20 or so? I don't. You worry about so many things that thinking about him at 20, I'm right now I can't go there. But that day will come and it can mean a whole new set of financial challenges for families because many people with autism will need lifelong support. Oh, all right. I think of Clinton, I think of love, just unconditional love. In the 19 years since Clinton was diagnosed, his parents have spent tens of thousands of dollars on therapy, but there were also unexpected costs. Adolescents hit in a big way, and he suddenly started breaking windows, overturning furniture. We spent uh, around $4,000 replacing windows. Our savings are, are almost gone. At some point, we're, we'll have to sell the house. Clinton graduates from high school in June at 21 years old. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? Sick to my stomach because we don't know where he's going to go afterwards. Uh, there are very few programs for adults with autism. $80,000 a year from the state will cover services, more than most families get, reflecting the severity of Clinton's disability. But a group home is years away. We are on a priority waiting list. And uh, we're like number 3,018. 3,000. 3,000. Do you think about what will happen to Clinton in the long term? I really worry about him being in the right hands, having people that love him, someone that's going to care and advocate for him. Although they are at different points on their journey, both families are focusing on the future, no matter what the cost. Never give up hope because there's always positive things that happen. Don't ever give up hope.